Welcome back. Today we're talking about everyone's favorite, or at least my favorite, liminal space. Ooh. We're gonna jump right into it. I don't need to explain it to you, but if there's anyone here that's confused, liminal space is the transition between the what was and the next, like you. You're liminal space. You're in the in-between point from being just an okay person to being a great one. Keep it up. You're doing great. Found on a camera phone from 2009. Isn't it funny that we used to call them camera phones because they were like, oh, it's a phone with a camera, but now like a phone always has a camera. Something to think about. This is cool. It's like a, it looks like a painting. The camera phone bad quality makes this look so good in a creepy way. It looks almost like a painting. Ooh. It's funny because at the time when you took these photos, you weren't thinking, oh, the bad quality of my camera is making this look creepy. Now that everything's 4K all the time, old photo equals creepy photo. Also the woods. The woods will always be a little bit creepy. This is from a suburb in Tokyo. Looks so eerie but calm. Dude, this is mwah, 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 mwah. This is a vibe. I know if you live here, this is probably totally normal to you. From someone that lives very far away, I would sell my family to move here. Okay, maybe I wouldn't do that, but I would probably sell my PC. I'd sell two pairs of shoes <laughs> and my RuneScape poster. That's where I draw the line. But I would love to live here. This is so sick. I know we've sort of romanticized this like lo-fi nighttime power lines aesthetic to the point where I can't even tell you if I think it actually is nostalgic or if we're just conditioned now to think it is. But this is a nice warm cup of coffee on a rainy Sunday morning. This is a friend who calls you out of the blue just to check on you. This is bubblegum ice cream in a cone. Out of bounds. Chat, is this real? I wonder if this is from a game or if someone made this to look like it's from a game. Either way, I dig it. I'd live here. I got to pull an all-nighter in a mall and this was so eerie. Okay, huh? You got to pull an all-nighter in a mall and this was eerie? Was not the entire experience eerie? I wanna know more about that, but this is all we get. This is so cool. Eerie? Sure, absolutely. We'll get that out of the way. Eerie. Something about slide. Something about this many balls. Too many balls. I can't say this again, but I'm going to. I would go here. <laughs> it would be fun to get some friends together and everyone goes to a corner. And the rule is that you can't put your head above the balls. You got to stay submerged and then you got to find each other. Right? We've seen this one before and I liked it last time. We've had two snow ones already, that's interesting. Middle of summer, snow sounds kinda nice right now, to be honest, I'm melting. Yeah, pretty cool, I like it. Feels very serene, it feels like there's no one for miles. Have you ever seen this picture because I took it? Hmm? Should I have? Whoa, that's cool actually to see the snow. Again, another snow one. We're three snow ones in. It's been snow and balls today. This one feels very liminal space to me where it seems so like empty, nowhere like it will be developed, maybe someday kind of left alone. This kind of ruins the illusion of like, oh, there's people living back there. It's like a farmland. There's like some sort of trail slash road. Like there's a lot of signs of life. Yeah, like there's houses back there. But this first one, Fantastic. Dude, this is sick. Is this like an airport parking lot? This is huge. Very nice. Parking lots, in my opinion, are pretty good examples of liminal space because they get the like empty thing down, but they're not made to be empty. They're designed to have cars in them. Its whole purpose is to not be empty. And the bigger the parking lot is, the more liminal it feels because the more empty space you get and the more cars that should be there that aren't there. So this is, mwah. I also, I gotta stop doing that. I also love the blue sky, like one cloud. It's not just the parking lot here, it's all of it. Yeah, that's really good. I love this. I wanna go hang out here. I wanna like take my longboard here and just cruise around. This looks fake, but I think it's real. Fog just makes things look fake, doesn't it? You take an image of anything sort of weird and add fog and then I'm like, this is just from Silent Hill. Carnivals are always just a little bit creepy, right? Aren't carnivals a little creepy? Or I guess, yeah, carnival, right? In order for it to be a circus, there has to be jugglers. And I don't see any jugglers. I like that you can't really distinguish a lot of people. I see some people here and maybe some people here. This picture makes me think like this field is always empty. But then one day some kids are playing in the woods and they hear some fun music in the distance and they follow it and they see this ghostly circus and they're like, come on guys, let's go on the Ferris wheel. But the whole thing is like a trap. 
to like lure in people with its flashy lights. But everything's a little bit wrong here. Like you go into the fun house and it's not even that fun. These ads are killing me. I always click on them thinking they're a post. Bro, Chumba Casino? You're transitioning from being broke as heck, no friends, to being rich? I recently discovered this unknown aesthetic named Sizz. It reminded me a lot of liminal spaces, so I thought I'd share it here too. 14 photos. I like this so far. Okay, now I'm not sure about the connection, but we'll figure it out. In this image, I think it's like illuminating part of something. And this honestly supports that. It's like illuminating part of something. Um dark illuminating part of something this is a sick photo this is really cool i i like this one in a weird sort of way but and snow again very interesting this photo i'm not gonna do the the chef's kiss thing i'm gonna do a double thumbs up awesome another banger interesting i definitely don't get the aesthetic yet i don't see the connection but i like it whatever it is cool photo it's weird how some of them are like this low res kind of old camera vibe but then there's like this one which is super high quality and same with this one super high quality so i still i'm not seeing i'll, I'll look up the definition after this but we're gonna should guess first another black and white one kind of light and dark Definitely has something to do with light, but then again, doesn't all photography, like by definition, something to think about. My brain wants this to be perfectly lined up, but not everything's perfect or needs to be. Interesting. Is that sand? These pictures are crazy. I don't know if they're liminal space, but they are crazy. Hmm. The theme is triangles. That's a scary photo. It's a great photo. That's a scary photo. Okay, let's see if anyone in the comments can illuminate. See what I did there? What exactly is Sizz? Sizz is a relatively new aesthetic that focuses on these freaking ads. Sizz is a relatively new aesthetic that focuses on noise, distortion, and other artifacts as a way to modify the subject of an image and make it more abstract. The word Sizz means to hiss or move with a hissing sound. I mean, I like it. It's not really liminal space to me, but I like it as an aesthetic. It sort of seems like half of these don't fit the definition, but then again, that's much like liminal space, where at this point, half the photos aren't really liminal space either. Fasters, freeze, food, and fountain. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably keep driving. Strange apartments. Okay, I have seen this before. This is album art. I have it on my phone. Oh, uh, give me a second. This song. I wasn't lying. If this is real, which this image does not look real, but if it is real, fire design. Can you imagine showing an architect, or maybe you are the architect, but showing the builders the blueprints for this and being like, okay, but what if like, instead of going up like a pyramid, it went out, like, you know, against the laws of physics so that the people on the top floor are like suspended like 50 feet up, you know? And like, you know, it's very top heavy and it's being supported by like just some metal beams by the looks of it. This looks like physically impossible, especially because this image makes it look like just straight up concrete. It, it's probably not, but it looks, it's like concrete color. It's gray. Um, but if it's real, amazing. Is this Ed, Ed and Eddie? The show is kind of liminal. Like, not, not to sound cheesy, like everything's liminal. Yeah, this cartoon was liminal, but like, there were no adults in the show, if I remember. It was sort of a weird vibe where there was evidence of adults, like you'd hear about them, but they were never like in the show. It's been like 20 years since I've watched it, but did we ever see adults in the show? This is a good find. This is a good thought. I wouldn't have thought of this as liminal, but seeing it, I'm like, kind of, yeah. This is a picture I took last year with my old camera, dark fog and sun outside a yurt door. Dude, the way it just ends right there. Dark fog and sun. So is this sunlight? To me, this looks like nighttime. I don't know. This is pretty spooky regardless. I like it. I think that my love for this aesthetic goes beyond what it's supposed to be at this point. Like this is just a cool photo, but is it necessarily liminal? Not really. You could always kind of explain it in a liminal way, but I think I just like how these photos look now. They sort of make me feel weird or they're sort of eerie. This was too liminal for me to handle. This is in Vegas. I've never been to Vegas, but I assume since Vegas kind of has everything that there must be like a strip of um, stuff to do that's inside, but made to look like it's outside. So they're just like repainting or something. That's pretty good, honestly, because this looks very much real outdoor buildings. And honestly, if you don't look too close, the sky looks pretty real. Great photo. Am I in a video game? 
Ooh, this is good. I like this. Those trees are so goofy. The shape of these two walls is so goofy. The sidewalk coming out to a point like this is pretty goofy. This is a goofy photo. <laughs> the light post being like a little bit off. You know, it's like a, it's leaning a little bit. That's goofy. This is goofy space. But yeah, this is one of those things that you'd see and you'd be so proud of yourself for snapping a photo of this if you're into liminal space because this is just like, you see this and you're like, bro, what a weird sight. Gotta capture that. Um, well, actually, let me put this on screen for you guys. Speaking of taking your own photos, I took this one when I was in Colorado a couple weeks ago. This is at 9.30 at night. This makes you think it's 3 in the morning, doesn't it? Anyway, that's one of my own additions for you. Jeez Louise, what a mess. Bro, it's the hamster back rooms. This is crazy. I don't know if this is because you love your hamster or because you hate your hamster. Like, picture how big they are and imagine if you were that big and how big this would feel to you. <laughs> that's crazy. I wonder how much that costs, too. Bro, these copy-paste neighborhoods are crazy. Would it kill you to make the house a different color than the driveway? Imagine what this looks like on, like, an overcast day where the sky is gray as well. It would probably feel wrong to wear color, you know? It's like you're in a black and white movie, and you'd ruin the immersion if you wore yellow. No wonder people are depressed. This is horrendous. House I was staying at, my first post, thought it fits. Cool. I like it. A little bit of pool action. Always love a good pool. There's something weird about a pool this close to the ocean. The fence is like a foot and a half high, so short that what's the point of it? Everything seems like a little bit like, like it's built on a hill or something. I can't figure it out. The water looks like murky blue. It looks like it's full of blue Gatorade and not actually water. And also this? These are only at public pools, man. No one on planet Earth that has a pool in their backyard has one of these metal weird handrail things this is a public pool thing only having that in your backyard something's up this is a great photo for a lot of reasons this this feels very like not right this feels very liminal my college's underground tunnel you say that like it's a normal thing for a college to have cool yeah can you imagine walking this to class every day you imagine doing four years of school here and at the end of it you realize it was all a dream <laughs> forgotten luxury Whoa. Oh my gosh, is that a Lamborghini Murcielago? And that other one? The camera quality is giving Game Boy camera. You know what I mean? I don't know if this is real or not, but this, I mean, I don't see why not. Could be some rich person who passed away or like they were just so rich they forgot they had 10 Ferraris in a parking garage somewhere. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> It's like when I forget where I put my glass of water and I get a new one, and then I'm like, ah. I already had a glass of water. It's kind of the same thing if you think about it. Imagine riding a bike through here. What, through the back rooms? More like the bike rooms. <laughs> Have you noticed that with these videos, they start off kind of serious, and then the last like five posts I look at are just me making bad jokes, and then I end the video? I've noticed it too. It's usually why I end the video. Half-life without life. Interesting. Me who's never played Half-Life? Huh, this is way different than I remember it. Huh, I definitely know why this is significant. Just this style of old gameplay, like, it's already liminal. I don't know if there's usually people and stuff happening here. Maybe, it's, maybe they edited something, but either way, as is, this sort of empty level in old games always felt like something it's like felt like you're being watched i want to say it's different than liminal space but that's definitely a very closely related feeling like when you were in a like a pvp map in like a call of duty game or like a halo game by yourself like you just didn't have anyone to play with and so you just thought about goofing around on some map and so it's empty and there's no one to shoot at no one's shooting at you and all you can hear is like the sound of your own footsteps. And I always felt like you were being watched. You know what I'm talking about? That's this. Infinite pools. Chat, is this real? Yikes. Colors? Love it. The fact that these pools do seem like they go down forever? Don't love that. The fact that this seems to also go on forever? Don't love that. The fact that there's only one door, so if you're like five pools down, you gotta walk all the way up here to get to the door. You know, you better get there early to get a good pool. Otherwise, you're gonna be walking for a mile and a half just to go to the bathroom. Great photo though. What happened here? What is happening here? More like. What a frantic still image, but I like it. And also these plastic chairs, very specific plastic chair, these white ones. These always went in the pool. These were like required to go in the pool. If your friend had a pool and they had one of these chairs, you'd put the chair 
in the pool. It's like you had to. It's like this human instinct. You're like this chair. We have to put it in the pool. Only times I sat in these were when they're at the bottom of the pool. 2010, took this picture on my Nintendo DSi. Not bad quality for a DSi. A big jump from the Game Boy camera. This is crazy because this car being such an old car makes me think this is so much further back than 2010. Like these cars look newer. Like, this is like a new, it's like an Altima or something. I can't tell. I don't know, maybe it's not. You can tell it's, 2010-ish. But this car makes you think it's like 1995, you know? I love the low-res quality of Nintendo camera accessories. We should do a video where I just go around taking pictures with a DSi. That'd be fun. Great Wolf Lodge. Interesting. <laughs> This is liminal. It looks like a toy. Do kids play here? I know that these pipes on the ceiling are probably just like air conditioning and stuff, but my first thought was that they were also water slides before I realized they're probably not. Maybe they are. I don't know. This image confuses me and bewilders me and it's all running so actively, but there's no one here. It's sketchy. All right, let's do one more. Imagine walking here, thinking about life. I haven't gone for a walk like this in a while. It's kind of nice. That's a great, I wish it was longer than six seconds. What a vibe, dude. Not really liminal space, but definitely the night feeling. What's that, you never heard of the night feeling? Better check out my video titled The Night Feeling. No, really. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I love me some good liminal space. I don't think these videos will always be something I do. Maybe they will. I don't know. I would like them to be, at least for a while. Maybe I'll get into Sizz. Sizz is so hot right now. Everyone's talking about Sizz. All my homies love Sizz. What kind of stupid name is Sizz? All right. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't and feel like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye What are you still doing here?